Making a return from Red Dead Redemption 1, the American Standard Red may not be the kings of speed anymore, but can still give most horses a run for their money. Here is everything you need to know about the American Standard Bred. This tall, agile breed is available in four different coats. The two common Standard Bred coats include the handsome buckskin and a beautiful solid black. The two rarer uncommon coats include a warm Palomino Dapple and a stunning silver tail buckskin. Being naturally fast horses, standard breds are classed as race horses. Speed and acceleration is the name of the game here. The downside, however, is their poor natural health and stamina. The common buckskin and black standard breds come with 3 health, 3 stamina, 4 speed which maxes at 7, and 3 acceleration which maxes at 5. Pushing the bonding to level 4 will max out health and stamina at 6 apiece. The Palomino Dapple is a faster horse, coming in with an extra point in speed and stamina over the common standard breads, resulting in a 6 health, 6 stamina, 8 speed and 6 acceleration horse with max bonding and gear bonuses. Next up is the Silvertail Buckskin. This horse is rather peculiar because I think there is currently some stat mismatching with this coat. According to the Red Dead Guide, it should have 4 raw health and stamina, 5 speed which maxes at 8, and 4 acceleration which maxes at 6. Then upon reaching level 4 bonding, it should sit on 7 health and stamina. But, in game, this coat is missing 1 point in raw health and stamina, resulting in 3 health and stamina instead. Hopefully this gets patched up in the future, because at this point of time, statistically, it's more or less identical to the Palomino Dapple. This breed comes with race handling. They'll turn almost on the dime and are very, very responsive to your commands. This may be a blessing or a curse depending on the rider. An exception here is the silver tail buckskin, which has standard handling instead, so it won't be as smooth to control like the other coats, but is a nice alternative if the race handling is too sensitive. Race class horses such as the standard bred usually have low HP pools, putting a damper on aggressive play styles. They're more suited for chasing enemies or running from the law, but don't be discouraged if you already own one. They're hardy horses that won't go off the rails in a gunfight, and reaching level 3 or 4 bonding will patch up their low raw health. Standard breds have a stronger flight rather than a fighting instinct, so they'll bolt at the sight of predators. It doesn't take much for this horse to just simply throw you off if that cougar, wolf or bear is nipping at your heels. If you want to tackle the threat head on, just keep in mind that your skittish steed might have other plans in mind. Here are your options if you want to get yourself a standard bred. The buckskin and black coats are common spawns along Little Creek River and also pop up occasionally on the west side of Big Valley. Usually these guys are out in the open, so if they're there, you'll see them before they see you. If you're into the life of a bad cowboy, hook in the black water before the epilogue and taunt the bounty hunters. Or go ahead and mess with any lawmen. They'll spawn in on black standard breads for you to steal. Lastly, NPC camps can be a last resort for common standard breds, but they are a super rare spawn. I've only ever seen two spawn in my two playthroughs. For the Dapple Palomino, you might run into a guy trying to pick his horse's foot on the side of the road as early as chapter 2. Make sure to use your binoculars to check before approaching, because if it's the one, the horse will actually kick and kill his rider before bolting off. And uh, at this point, you should know what to do. The other option is to buy the Dapple Palomino from Valentine Stables for a mere $150. I know a lot of you are keen to get your hands on the Silvertail Buckskin, but I'll have to be the bearer of bad news. The Silvertail Buckskin is only available for purchase at Tumbleweed Stable for $400 after Epilogue 1. There have been claims of people legitimately stealing Silvertails, but I wasn't able to replicate their methods. If you did manage to grab one without the use of an exploit, feel free to share it with us in the comments section below. A community favourite, the Standard Bread is a beautiful breed to own if you're after something a little faster than your average horse. 
Consider the Dapple Palomino a keeper for how good its stats are for a horse you can get for free as early as chapter 2. If you get yourself one of these horses, I highly recommend bonding to it as soon as possible to patch up its dangerously low raw health. Cause once you get on the maxed out standard bread, neither of you will ever look back. Thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.